The other thing that really interests me is that our ears are the most astonishingly sensitive organs. And I kind of get to wondering, if we were to get rid of all this background din, what are the tiniest, most delightful little noises we could hear? This is an anechoic chamber. It's a room suspended within a room, suspended within another room. See, not only is this room absolutely insulated from any noise from the outside world, it's also made with walls that produce no echo whatsoever. This is actually a research facility at the University of Salford. So we want to do some research of our own in here. We can answer questions that you probably couldn't answer anywhere else, like how loud is a slithering snail? Or maybe what is the footfall? of a centipede. These are sounds that may never have been heard by the human ear, so I needed some help. When it comes to extreme recording in the natural world, Chris Watson has near legendary status. Do you think an anechoic chamber like this would be like the best chance we've got of hearing them? Absolutely, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, the natural world, the natural environment is not as quiet as this. So, I mean, what, what kind of kit do you use to, to capture the sound of the practically inaudible? There's two techniques, and the simplest one I use most of the time in the natural world is simply to get the microphone as close as I possibly can to the source of the sound. Because what we want to do, generally, is, is get the very best signal, which is the sound the animal's making, to ambient noise ratio. But even in these perfect conditions, standard microphones won't be enough. The other piece of instrument I brought, the other transducer, is not something that works with changing air pressure, but something that works with vibration. Now, this is a contact microphone. So what, um, what we can do in this case is actually attach the contact microphone to the surface on which your animals are going to be placed. With both microphones rigged, Chris chose what he hoped would be the simplest challenge. Let's try the maggots. OK. Imagine how it is for the animals inside. Just tip a few out. Stop breathing. That's working. Yeah, but that's... We'll do a bit more with this. That's so clear. We'll really well, yeah. That's really astonishing. Well. You'd think that they're completely silent. You'd, you'd think that a creature like that with no legs at all, just wriggling, would be utterly silent. But they sound like a little crisp packet just rustling their way around the world. Even more amazingly, the anechoic chamber allowed us to hear the maggots without the use of microphones at all. It's like snap, crackle and pop. It's like, <laughs> it's like a bowl of Rice Krispies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next up, the centipede. Yes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Well, I might have to be quick with these subjects. What we're hearing now is via the contact mic. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. You hear that really well. Amazingly, we have actually heard the, the footsteps of a centipede, and they are tiny beyond belief. And now I don't feel so bad for never having heard it before, because even with all this equipment and the, the most precise recording environment available, it's still only just audible. I mean, they are the tiniest footsteps. Two down, now just one more animal to go, the snail. This one's moving. Like, this one's actually, he's looking quite dynamic. So I'm going to move it okay. in. Now, he's on his l lettuce. Well, he's probably happier, so let's... And breathe in. You can actually hear it 
eating. That is fantastic. That's the best thing I've ever heard. I still wanted to find out what a snail sounds like on the move. Well done, mate. But we soon found out there was nothing to hear at all. That's pretty quiet. Yeah. Well, I actually can't hear it, but that gliding movement appears to be silent, inaudible. So that, that's the, the headline news here. Free sliding snail in the quietest room in the world with the best sound recording equipment in the world is actually silent. I love the sound of the little maggot wriggling around, very cute. I thought they were all utterly charming, <laughs> yeah. but then again, I can imagine the of a little snail in the your sound eardrum. Effects. Kind of getting on some people's nerves. A little annoying, a little grim.